Johnny, get your gun, get your gun, get your gun. Take it on the run, on the run, on the run. Hear them calling you. And... Hello, and welcome back to Frontline Rejects. Today on the channel, we're continuing our series on expansion testing. The round that we'll be testing today is Barnes 129 grain LRX BT, chambered in 270 wind short mag. Of course, this is a monolithic, all copper bullet, and we're very excited to be testing the LRX today because this is the first time we've had it on the channel. Of course, all rounds will be fired through our Winchester Model 70, and we'll be shooting from 100 to 500 yards. As always, thanks for watching, and if you like the content, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Also, if you have any experience with this round that you'd like to share, or suggestions for future testing, feel free to drop those in the comments section below. Let's begin. So now that rounds are complete, we can see our overall results here. And it's apparent that at pretty much all ranges fired, we had fairly even and consistent expansion. Uh, at the one and two, we did have some pedals get torn off, but other than that, pretty even across the board. At 100 yards, the bullet peeled back perfectly. All four pedals were torn off about halfway down the length. Um, we were able to find two, we could not find the other two. At the 200, while the round slows down just a tiny bit, one of the pedals remains attached while three are detached and we're able to find one. At the 300 mark, all pedals remain attached. We have good consistent expansion. The 400 is much the same as the 300, although we can see expansion happening further up the shank. It's clearly beginning to shed velocity and not expanding as far down. The 500 really does not have too much difference than the 400 good even expansion from all four pedals. Moving on to the graph, we see pretty even results. Other than the 200, expansion followed a pretty close distribution. Um, at the 200, we had that one pedal that stuck out real wide. Um, had that broken off or folded down, it would have been pretty much in line, I think, with the rest of the results. Overall, though, average expansion was 1.92 times with a fairly low standard deviation. Our weight data also had a fairly consistent distribution. Um, at the 100 and 200, we can see what's reflected in the images. The pedals were torn off, and that re resulted in a slightly lower weight than the further ranges. The further ranges, 3 to 5, all had very consistent numbers, which is excellent. This resulted in 97.6% overall average weight retention which is a little bit higher than what we usually expect from a monolithic bullet. Most monolithic bullets we'd expect to see somewhere around a 95% weight retention, and if we have a slightly higher weight retention, then that tells us that we should be getting this round going a bit faster. Now our velocity is around 3173. Um, I think if we took the time and did proper load development that we could probably get it up to about 
3250, maybe 3300 with the right powder. I think this data reinforces the necessity of doing load development with monolithic bullets more so than with a soft point or bonded core controlled expansion round. Monolithic bullets can give fantastic results, but to get that really optimal result that you want from them, you really need to do proper load development. And oftentimes certain rifles can be picky when it comes to how well they work with monolithic bullets. If you do take the time though to do the load development, match them up with a good rifle, these bullets can returned excellent results and I would highly recommend um, the Barnes LRX to anybody using a high velocity platform like the 270 Wisdom. I would love to try these in the future in our 300 Win Mag, uh, maybe some other uh, higher velocity cartridges. As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's content, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if you have any experience yourself with these rounds, uh, feel free to drop those comments in the comment section below or if you have suggestions for further testing. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.